Hi everyone, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something completely different because I have a few journals to share with you that are for sale. And what I wanted to do was do a walkthrough in this video of the, these three journals and um, let anybody that wanted to email me if they were interested in buying them um, before I do put them in my Etsy store. And I think I'm not going to put them in my Etsy probably until this weekend. Whereas if somebody is interested in something that they've seen, they can email me, we can discuss shipping and everything, and then I can get that sent out in the mail uh, tomorrow or, or, or however soon I get the payment. The only thing with emailing me is um, for payment, it is PayPal only. But PayPal is really easy to set up. It takes two seconds and you can just um, pay right through PayPal. So in this video, I do have three journals that I want to showcase. Then I'm going to be doing another video after this that has um, a couple different types of journals plus a mini album that I have for sale. So we'll start with these first. So this is the first one I have. I'm calling this one the purple journal. Um, sometimes I like to use whatever's on the front as the name of a journal, but this is kind of long. It says, be in love with your life every minute of it. So you can call it the purple journal or we can call it that whatever you want. This one's a little smaller than my normal journals too. It's five by seven. And this is um, made with scrapbooking paper, the pattern paper, uh, two sheets glued together. I've done it before, um, but normally I like to use my clasp envelopes. But this one is made with pattern paper. Um, and on the front, I did some big lace. Oh, maybe I should put it down so you can see. So a big lace here. Then I have some creepy cloth, some vintage book page, some more lace, and then the cut apart, just all layered together for the front. The closure is the sari silk ribbon, and the back is plain. Because I like this paper, so I didn't think I had to put anything because it's really nice as it is. So let's get inside. So this journal has 76 pages, and then I also do have some, or actually I think a couple uh, vintage book pages in this as well. So the inside cover I've left blank because I like this paper too and I just didn't want to cover it up. So all the paper in here is coffee dyed um, except for the pattern paper. The scrapbooking paper, I didn't coffee dye it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on the journal and kind of the direction I'm heading with it. But in this case, just the, co the regular paper is coffee dyed. So the first page is nice and plain, has a paper ribbon here, but I thought I left it plain so a nice spot to start journaling or putting down whatever you want to be in this journal. And um, the sides of some of the pages do have ribbon on it. This is actually not vintage ribbon um, that I did order. This one is from AC Moore and I got them on Black Friday when I did the uh, crafty haul. So this is the first pattern paper and it does have the, the lace on the side. And the next, the back of that, we have a book page pocket. And I've left it open on this side so it can tuck some more things behind it. And here's a little bookmark slash tag that I made. I did in ground the edges and I tore the edges, if you can see that, let's see. They're not cut, they're torn. Because I like the way that looks. And then I left it plain on both sides so you can use it as a bookmark in this journal or you can use it as a bookmark in a regular book or you can journal on it, so it's up to you. And then this was actually a four by six um, cut apart, but I cut it in half to make a little journaling card. So I thought it'd be nice to maybe put a little picture on the front and then journal on the back, so I left it plain there. 
and then those tuck right behind there. And in the little front pocket here, um, this is some of the extra paper that I fold into thirds, rounded the edges, and it can be like a little notebook for little notes or anything like that. That tucks down in there. And at the very bottom, I did a little tiny bit of layering. I have some lace on the bottom, the lace trim. Then I have some of that creepy cloth. I don't know if you can see that. And then one of the vintage buttons on there. And here's some of the paper that I made on the computer, the line paper. And okay, so this is one of the first vintage book pages. Um, I did reinforce it with washi tape just because it is vintage and it is a little fragile. And I just didn't want it to rip out of the signature. And here is our next little tuck spot. Again, two tags I made with a paper collection. They are blank on the back for lots of journaling. And here I've layered two pieces of ribbon, if you can see, and then I sew it across to keep it on. And the tuck spot is one of the cut aparts that I cut down a little, and then I rounded the edge, and I layered some little bit of ribbon underneath, and some more of the AC Moore trim. And here's another one, and this is another one of the cut aparts from the collection. Uh, and I did just put a little lace trim on the bottom, and this holds another one of the ripped tags, blanks on the back. Actually, I'll stop showing the backs because you're going to know that they're blank <laughs> for journaling. Some more writing paper. Here I did another paper ribbon and another one of the vintage buttons on the top. And here's one of those corner tucks, uh, the Rita Donnelly flip, I believe it is. And I just put some lace there. And in here, this one is um, an image that I found um, on Pinterest, I believe. And I sewed on some pattern paper to the back. And then I made two tags. Actually, this is a cut apart from the collection. This is a tag that I made. And again, I layered some trims and I sewed across. And this is another book page. Uh, this one, it wasn't so delicate. It was a little bit thicker, so I didn't put any washi on it. And another little tuck with, oh, this is the other part of that tag that I showed in the beginning. And another cut apart from the collection. And this little tuck spot, I tore again, distressed the edges, and stuck a little lace on the bottom. And this is um, one of the, it's pattern paper, but it was left over from when I was cutting down a larger sheet. So I made it kind of a half page and I sold a little felt pocket on with a little um, trim here and a little trim on the side, as you can see. So this is a felt pocket and uh, trim. And inside we have this, I just cut this out uh, it was, I was using book page and this part was still um, in one piece so I sort of finished ripping it and then I sewed it to some cardstock and it says from family tradition and at thy birth the cricket chirped <laughs> and here is a little cut apart that I uh, sewed on to some coffee dyed paper which was ripped and I left it like that inked the edges and it just looks kind of cool like that so I left that there and here is one of the first tags layer tags and I learned to layer my tags from the wonderful Moira McDonald hi Moira if you haven't seen any of her videos or checked out her ch channel definitely go and check her out because she does some really cool things with tags. So this, um, it's a little bit layered, not as much as um, I wanted to, but I was trying something different. So the cardstock is, I, I cut out the shape of the tag with just craft cardstock. And then I layered some different pieces um, all around just for some interest. And that clips right on the side there. And here's another little tuck spot with the ripped edges, the creepy cloth, and a button. 
and this is cut out from the collection as a tag and guess what yep it's blank on the back <laughs> and here is it's like a little homemade ticket train I don't know whatever you call them uh, but it was the the paper that I make uh, now that I won't see any paper the one that I make on the computer this one here when I cut it down I always have this strip left over and I don't like throwing away um, pieces of paper that are big enough to do something with so I kept it I folded it in fourths and then I rounded the edges and it made my own little ticket stubs and this is something different I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can it looks like there's a doily here um, what I did after I coffee dyed the paper before I put it into the oven I placed doilies on top of the paper so when it dried it left the impression of the doily so some of the pages throughout you'll see the doily that's kind of dyed into the coffee dyed paper which I thought was kind of cool and here's a, a spot I put for journaling um, this is coffee dyed paper and I ripped around the edges inked around the edges and left it plain so you can journal here um, you can write a little story a little poem anything you wanted and then I just dressed it up a little with some lace on the bottom and another button and here is another vintage book page and I put, stuck a little paper ribbon on the side so it's like a little tab and see here's some more of the doilies and another book page pocket again I left the side open so there's room for another bookmark tag and another journaling card and this one has lines on it so you can actually journal on it and in the front these are two cut aparts from the collection middle of the signature and I used purple um, purple thread to try to match the whole purple theme so that's there and on the outside of that one I did a half page pocket and this is just a cut apart from the collection and some scrap paper for some journaling or some notes or lists or whatever you want to write on the paper here and another one of the layered tags I made and this one has a little sewn book page on it, some pattern paper. Underneath here, if you can see, um, it's, so it's the craft card stock, and then I put a book page on top of it, sewed it down. Then I started layering, like there's some lace up here, lace down there, um, and here's some of the felt from the felt pocket, some creepy cloth. So I like the way this one came out, pretty cool looking. And the other part of one of the vintage book pages, and on the bottom, I have a little bit of lace that was left over. And this was a cut apart from the collection. It's just a little tiny flower. So I thought that was cool. So I left that in there. And another uh, smaller version of the book page pocket. Here are some cut apart. This is a cut apart from the collection and a bookmark tag. And here's some little ones in here. These are all from the collection, and here's one of the ticket things that I made. And this one was a full sheet, and when I cut it down, these are kind of cool. So I cut around everything, and then I thought it could be um, events or dates or something on there, but that would be kind of fun. Here's a little uh, parchment bag. Um, that I coffee dyed and I put a little tag into it put some pattern paper on the front of it and a little trim on the bottom and another half sheet page with some more cut aparts inside here's another paper ribbon and another layered tag so this one has a couple buttons it is book page on the very bottom um, some different laces here's a purple lace a darker purple lace um, some cream and white creepy cloth underneath 
This one's a little bit more layered. There's a book page piece under there. And then I put this blank thing here because I thought you could put something on here. You could write something, um, put a date, and then write anything you want in the back. Put pictures on the back. Whatever you choose. Another tuck spot. And here, oh, so it's, here's some tags that I, I put in. There's, I sewed book page on the back and an image off Pinterest on the front. And this is coffee dye paper on the back. But... There is a secret here. There's a secret space underneath here. So you flip the lace up and you can write a little note there and put it underneath. Not that it's actually hiding because you can see right through, but I thought it's kind of cool. <laughs> a book, uh, vintage book page. Here is an envelope that I coffee dyed, layered some book page and a cut apart from the collection on the back of it. And it's just blank. I mean, you could just put whatever you wanted inside. And then that flips over the page and clips right on. Some more line paper. Here is a little bingo card and a little ticket. And I just backed it on coffee dyed paper. And this is a little cut apart from the collection with some Dollar Tree trim on the top. Now the paper lace. And here is one of those sewn pockets, like a floating pocket. And I've put, this is a cut apart from the collection, and this is just some leftover scrap of paper that I cut down to fit inside the little pocket here. Has some layered lace on there and a button. And then those, whoops, they're supposed to go right back inside. There we go. And the back has a little lace on there too. And that tucks right up under there. And that is the end of this one. So this is the five by seven purple junk journal. Uh, the next one I have is, this is a cloth colored journal. And this is the regular uh, nine by 12 full so it's actually uh, nine by six, the ones that I usually make. And this is held together with some, just some trim. And it's not attached, so it comes right off. And so this is actually material that my mom gave me um, at her women's club years ago. Somebody had brought this material material in to make curtains. So they hung curtains for the longest time, but there was all this material left over, so she gave it to me. It's very vintagey looking. So I really liked it. So this one is, how many pages are in this one? There's 68 pages in this one, plus some book pages. So let's get into that. In the front, I've, um, so I, this is cloth, and then I also backed it with some cloth on the inside and sewed all around. And here, here is some material at the very bottom, material from Selena's shop, and she is a more fabrics on Etsy. She has a really great shop and uh, really great things in her shop, so definitely check her out. Hi, Selena. Um, and then I layered some lace on top of that just to make a little pocket here. And these ones are both backed with coffee dyed paper. So the first page here. And this all, actually, most of this lace is AC Moore trim or lace, but there are, like this one here, I know this is vintage. So if I come to any vintage stuff, I'll let you know, but the majority of the ones on the outside are from AC Moore. So we have our first tuck here, and again, this is material from Selena's shop. It's two materials. So there's this one, this green one here, and... It's layered on, I just used some regular cardstock to layer it on. But before I did that, I sewed also another piece of material that she sent me over this. Because it sort of went, see the green with this green? But I just kind of like the way it came together. So I made it into the cover pocket. And has two tags, nothing on the back of those. Okay, so here is the first layered tag. And this was a tag, so I cut out the um, cardstock in the shape of a tag, and then I decoupaged um, these little napkin images. It was a whole napkin, but 
there was little birds all over the napkin, so I kind of ripped out the little birds and I put them where I wanted them on the tag. And then we have a little lace layered there uh, with a button. Here's a coffee dye doily, paper flower, some more lace ribbon underneath but I just love these little birds and I have no idea where I got this napkin from and I wish I had more because they're the cutest little things ever <laughs> so that clips right in there and see here's some more of the uh, doilies couldn't find my words there for a minute this page here is a flip out and oh, you can see the doily there and then I just layered some laces okay so these are vintage laces and a vintage button there you go okay and here's some vintage music sheet paper and I put just and this is also uh, some vintage trim and that kind of it's a little tab so you can put it over here is paper ribbon that I matched to the corresponding paper and on top a nice big vintage button. And this is a sewn pocket but it's um, not made from book page, it's made from coffee dyed paper. So we have a book page tag in the back sewed on to cardstock and then this is sewed on to coffee dyed paper. And then we have two little ones in the front, nothing on the back of those. And I did some layering of laces for the front of the pocket there. And here's another vintage book page and it has a little of the paper to match and the paper ribbon there. So I thought that was kind of nice. And some more trim. And here is a pocket. Uh, I, I watched a video and um, the woman's name is Lori, and if I'm not mistaken, her channel is uh, Girl on the Ridge. Lori, Girl on the Ridge, something like that. But she did a tutorial about how she did these tuck spots, where it's a book page, there's another book page, some layering, uh, and hers were all different. This is just how I did mine the first time. I have some layering here, a flower here, and then you sew down the middle, and you turn it into a little tuck spot. But I thought that was very, it was a brilliant idea. So I copied that and I put them as tuck spots in my this book. And coffee dye paper on the back of this, nothing on the back of that. So we don't have to turn it over. Some more doilies there that you can see. And here's a flip out. And on the bottom there's a whole bunch of stuff I had left over. So the, the white here and this, those are both vintage trims. This is a piece of material from Selena's shop and a vintage button. And here is, um, this is another vintage book page, but I turned it into a little pocket page. So I sewed, well, these are two tags, um, and they have the lined paper that I made sewn on the back. But here, if you can see, so I sewed all around the edge here, layered some lace, and these were two sheets that when I was ripping the edges of the book pages to make other things, they were left over. So I said, you know what, they almost look like they kind of connect. So I glued them down together, and it looks like sort of a ripped, I, I like the way it came out. It was just kind of cool looking. It looked like a ripped book page. And then those slide down in there. And another paper ribbon that matches the corresponding page and a vintage button and I love that yellow so that's up there uh, not, okay so this pocket is actually made with a book page if I'm in frame you can actually see it put a little vintage trim there so the pocket in the front holds this little tiny book that I made and it has some of the leftover vintage book pages and some coffee dyed paper and all little bits and I did sew it as you can see right there so I thought that was kind of cute and tucks right in the front here and then this has the lines paper on the back which you could definitely journal on and this is some of the material that matches the front from when I was cutting it I had a little strip left over oh, I don't know if you could see it um, that I turned into a like the paper ribbons but it's a material ruffle and I stuck it up there and here's the next layered tag. And this one has the book page as the base. 
This is a napkin I decoupaged onto it. Um, some paper flowers that I layered with a vintage button here and here. And then just some layering of lace, different laces and some fabrics. Fabric and fabric. So those go together there and clips right back on there. Um, here is another vintage book page. And this pocket is fun. Another one of um, the sewn green material with the, uh, oops, hold on one second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My cat and dog were going to get into a little tussle, so before it got loud, I had to separate them. Um, so I forget if I, okay, so this is one of those material pockets. Um, with some vintage trim here, vintage trim here, and two vintage buttons. And here are two tags. This, I have that fun trim on the top. Um, it's kind of like eyelash trim, I guess. And they're both blank on the back. Oh no, this one has the stamp lines on the back. Okay, so it's not blank. Take it back. All right, middle of the signature here. And so here's the ribbon for the, uh, the match of the paper there. Oops, am I in front? There we go. And here is another, uh, this is the other side of the vintage book page that I turn into sort of a side tuck. So the pocket goes this way. I um, put on the edge some washi tape just to kind of reinforce it a little bit. And I don't know what that is. <laughs> and here is um, this, I sewed a index card to the back of that for journaling and here's a little book you can journal in as well and all that stuff gets tucked inside here is a flip out and this is uh, the same material as this it was just a little leftover piece so I scrunched it up ran a stitch through it and it's a little material material ribbon Ooh, say that <laughs> and here is one of the um, line pages I made on the computer I ripped it out for a nice little journaling spot and then two little buttons down there. Okay, here's another pocket I made for the um, vintage book page. It has a tag in it with an index card on the back layered with some, I don't think this is vintage. I'm not sure if it is or not, but some of that lace trim there. Oh, here is, um. So this uh, tag, I didn't do any layering on it. Well, it's layering in the aspect of like there's not little different pieces, but um, onto the cardstock, I decoupaged the napkin. And see, this is how the napkin looks. See all the chubby little birds? They're so cute. So I didn't want to layer anything on here to cover them up. So I left this just blank because they're just adorable. And here I have two little journaling spots. So... Um, it's cardstock that I ripped apart, uh, inked the edges, and then sewed around the edges. And you can journal here, and you can journal here, or you can put a little picture in each, whatever you wanted to do. Vintage book page, and there's a little flip there, and another one of Lori's pockets here. Um, I have a little more lace layered on that. I've made a tag. Um, kind of to look like a Polaroid picture, but not really because you can journal here and then there's just lace on the bottom and a tag, nothing on the back. And some more material that I made a little ribbon out of. Another paper ribbon. The other side of the vintage music paper. Another, oh, oh, another one. Oh, and a little um, vintage plastic button. And here is another journaling spot. And that is the end of this one. Mm -hmm. So this is the cloth covered junk journal. And then the last one that I'm gonna do in this video is this one. I actually did a walkthrough a few videos ago for this. So I'm not really gonna do a complete walkthrough, um, but just like the other one, it's made, um, it's gonna be nine by six. This is cardstock, front and back. The front is layered with a bunch of vintage laces, ribbons, trims, and a doily.
And then this is a cutout that I layered onto chipboard just to make it, if you can hear it, um, sturdy with a vintage butt. And then the back is plain. And then I put my trusty old collage page over it so it gives it like a nice feel because this paper you can actually feel the wood grain on it so I'll just flip through quickly um, I won't get in too much detail this is where I first did my layer tags I absolutely love the way they came out um, because there is a full flip through of this journal in another video but it has this one we'll call Finding Your Joy, and it has 60 pages plus a couple smaller pages like this one here. Um, there is vintage trim in this one as well as some AC Moore trim. It has some little pockets with some little hidden things. Uh, there's another layer tag. I just love the way these layer tags came out. Really, really nice. The adventure begins. I'm not even in frame. Oh, how rude of me. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, so just a quick flip through um, of this. And if you want to see a full walkthrough, um, just look up the video, uh, which is a few back. I can't remember exactly how far back, but I do have a full walkthrough on this one. Just another layer tag there. And the end. So, if you are interested in any one of these journals... I am going to leave my email below along with my Instagram because you can message me through email or Instagram um, and we can t discuss pricing and shipping. And if they are not sold by this weekend, then they will go to my Etsy shop, which they will stay until they find a forever home. So thanks for taking all the time and watching this video and the walkthroughs with me. I will have another video showcasing some other journals and a mini album that I made um, coming up. So watch out for that. And as always, thanks for stopping by. See you.